In this video tutorial, I want to talk about the Clean Surface tool. Uh, you can search this by double clicking on the canvas and searching for KL. That's the Clean Surface. Or you can go to the Launchbox tool and find it here. So basically, these are the math tools for Launchbox uh, plugin. And you can uh, simply make uh, such a model here. You can see I can change this by number and can change this for one and I'm going to show you how you can uh, produce the surface and use it for modeling uh, panels something like this you can increase the number and uh, yeah, the surface is going to be produced so basically this is a, video to, a small video to tell you about the clean surface tool Okay, to start uh, from scratch, I'm going to use this clean surface tool. And this will show you how much time it takes to produce that surface. We can turn this off from the canvas widget and the profiler. Okay, so the two inputs are the numbers of the U and V curves for that surface. You can see here. ATU and ATVs. So basically this is not really important. The next part is the R which is a simple scale of the R radius of this surface. You can change this. The parameter T is you can see it's 0 0.5 and this will just turn the clean surface and twist it but you can see it's uh, when you just reach a number, it will fit in. Maybe something like this. If I put a 2.5, you can just see it will be exactly a complete turn and twist here. So the hint is that you could you should use a, a multiplication of 0 0.5 here. So I'm going to give a 0 0.5. I'm going to the math. Use the multiplication and you can uh, name it from 1 to maybe 5 and this will just define the number of twists you have so you can see that I can increase that okay and here's the surface complete twist uh, when we just produce the surface, we have the scale, so it's basically a simple scale of the form. We don't need this, but you can scale the surface. And the domain 1 and domain 2 here, you can just uh, dismiss this part and use another tool called isotrim. And I've explained the isotrim in many tutorials, but you can just right click on the surface and reparameterize and use a construct uh, if we have it here maybe it's a domain 2 okay uh, you can use the construct domain 2 tool where you can go to the math domain and construct domain 2 and combine this with the isotrim and these numbers the u uh, minimum and maximum and v minimum and maximum is basically the U and the V of the surface you can give it from 0 to 1 so maybe we can just have four of these make these from center okay let's just connect these make it from 0 okay so if I turn this off you can see that you can uh, have it from the U direction this is the complete from 0 to 1. You can see how it just grows. You can make an animation by right clicking this and choosing animate. I've explained that in a video tutorial about the animation and sound. So you can check that out too. So basically this will be the U uh, direction. You can see I make it from 0 to, uh, 0 to 0 0.5 and this will be the V direction 
just turns and comes down. You can also have this surface if you want. So we can play with these. If you have one uh, twisting number, that's okay to put it from 0 to 1. But if you have it 2, you can give this from 0 to 0 0.5. And that is because if you put it from 0 to 1, you can see it's two surface. Okay, let's just put the 0 to 1. And you can just simply put it from 0 to 0 0.5 to have a whole surface here, a twisted surface, and have this modeled. Okay. And that also works for 4 and 6. So you can see that if you give it an odd number, you can't handle it because it's just twisting and never giving it to it and and you can use an even number maybe to the f eight and always have a twist okay have this surface modeled uh, but remember you have to put the u to the zeros to 0 0.5 and you have to have this on an even number uh, the only situation which it uh, makes a difference is to z put it from 1, okay, if you put it from 1, you have to make this from 0 to 1 and a complete turn if you want the main uh, plane surface. So what we can do here is to use the panels of the lunchbox tool. You can easily go to the lunchbox, to the panels and make a panel on this maybe we can just put a triangle panel give it a number for the u division and for the v division so i guess that the u division must be bigger than 10 so we can see the form and this will be the maybe eight Okay, we have a problem here because it's just a twisting thing. If you don't want to have uh, any problem with this, you have to uh, put this in an even number. So I'm going to give this an even number and you can change this and see this. And we can have that. Okay. That's the panels. Or we can simply give it a quad panel here we go and we can just uh, make those panels into frames so I'm going to use the panel frame you can easily combine the panels with the panel frame tool and make a frame of it and give it maybe from 0 to 1 okay turn this off and you can see you can have the frames that's the frames and you can have the panels okay that's the panels you can have them you can also uh, go to the display section use the custom preview tool and give two different con uh, colors to the frame and the panel. So I'm going to give this to the panel frame. And let's just give it a swatch, color swatch for the frame. And that will be for the, okay. And you can just uh, make these okay by changing the high quality uh, from the preview mesh quality menu and see the results. So this can help you. Maybe we need a H number here and maybe we just have to decrease this or increase that to have better panels. So you can see that simply I can change uh, the parameters of the plane surface. Uh, I'm going to explain this in the Grasshopper course. We have a uh, software called, uh, called Ka3D Surface. I'm going to explain that. But for now, it's just a simple plane surface tool. You can see here we can have it a 1 uh, and a 1 again here to have a complete turn. And we can simply just clip plane this model. Let's turn this upside down. 
and maybe use this for architecture design let's just bake this okay you can see that this goes to a model a simple model you can use it for uh, maybe a simple architecture design that you can walk on the roof of that surface and come up and then again go down so this will be ideal for uh, an architecture model so that's it thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask and subscribe to the channel and put comments underneath this video and thank you